Oh, hello. I have something I'd like to show you. This is a volume of collected works by the author Franz Kafka, a very famous author, and in fact, one of the greatest authors of the 20th century. Although in his own time, he lived in complete obscurity, died in complete obscurity, in fact. He also wrote through times of intense internal turmoil and neuroses, but in spite of these obstacles, he persevered and continued to write. Let me cite an example that perhaps might be a bit more familiar, the work of this man. Those, of course, you will recognize as paintings by the artist Vincent van Gogh, who also worked through intense internal turmoil, psychoses, and an overfamiliarity with the Green Fairy, which probably aggravated matters. But in spite of these things, and in spite of a life of complete obscurity as well, he continued to create, and created some of the greatest works that human hands have ever created. And I tell you all of this by means of encouragement, that regardless of what you're feeling right now, make some art. I have an example from my personal life. Yesterday I went out to mow the grass, ill-advisedly right around sundown, and got about 25 to 30 mosquito bites on my back. I am miserable right now. I tell you that not to elicit sympathy, although you may feel some sympathy, hopefully, but to illustrate to you how little it matters in this video that I am miserable, that I have these mosquito bites. It doesn't really matter to you. Does it really matter to you when he was making this? If he were struggling with horrible madness or DTs, I mean, you may feel sorry for the guy and it may add to the value of the work in some of the richness of history, but really it doesn't matter in your appreciation of it. So I would encourage you, regardless of how you're feeling today, Paint, draw, write, compose, dance, record. These are the things that are going to matter tomorrow when you get hit by a bus or you suddenly succumb to the flu or a meteor hits you. These are the things that are going to endure and who knows, perhaps you will contribute something which shall endure. Thank you. Ta-ta.